Hey guys, how's it going? It's your girl DJ, and you're back trading with DJ. So today I want to go over things that you should not do, right? Probably while you're failing, um, you know, with trading. This is very important, guys. Um, I'm actually going to write them down here. Things not to do. It's not when trading. But, right? So I'm gonna give you five major things not to do. Do not over leverage. What that means is do not um, risk more than you are willing to lose. Here's the reason why people over leverage. They think about the gains only. They think, okay, you know what? I'm gonna risk 50% of my account today and I'm gonna expect to make you know 100% right back. Da -da -da -da. I don't know where people just you get these ideas and then they get mad when they lose it it's like you gotta think whenever i trade um i think more about the loss like i, I think I, i'm not expecting to lose but i think before i risk a certain amount i say to myself am i willing to lose this amount right am i willing to lose 20 percent of my account in one day at the risk of trying to make um you know double that that amount that's how you have to think because in life people don't think about the consequences but they just they just expect for everything to go completely right but just in case you got to think of the what is what if i don't win this trade so let me not risk my whole account let me risk a small bit of it then i'll have more to be able to go back in and make more money from that right second do not over trade need people be telling me they they place like 30 trades at one time why are you doing that you're you're putting yourself through, through that mental mental trauma like I, I i do not like to go to, through all that craziness if i don't make what i need to make within that five i mean within that hour i'd say i don't even be in the charts for that long if i if i, if I go in there three minutes i place a three minute trade or a five minute trade and i i get that one entry and i go in there and stack it up and they all clear i'm done like i'm not about to sit here in front of the market for hours like no that's how you get burnt out that's how you get you know um headaches and and then you and this doesn't become fun i mean it shouldn't be fun but it at least shouldn't be like a headache for you right this shouldn't be um you shouldn't treat your chart your account like a hobby this is supposed to be a way to pay you not to you know take all your money away right but um very simple guys um keep it together don't over trade it's not it, it's not worth it because why are you trying to give your whole account to the market in one day that's what the market wants don't give the market what it wants that's your enemy right all right sounds good i'm just hoping that you get that because even though i say this over and over people still do it and then they say, oh, I blow my account. Oh, da, da, da. All of that. People people want to be mentored until it's time to be mentored. Right? Don't hit me up and say, hey, I want you to mentor me. Da, da, I want to join your team. But you're not even ready for it. Do not tell me you want to be mentored and you're not ready to hear what I have to say. Because I do not, um, you know, sugarcoat anything. I tell you what you need to hear, which is what we need. But I do it respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Don't be little nobody. I do it respectfully, right? So on the third one, do not chase a trade. And this is extremely important for me. Like chasing a trade, do not chase a trade. Let's put the rest on. Chasing a trade um, is how people lose money. So let's say you wanted to get in at an entry and then you miss your entry. So now you gotta wait for another entry, but instead you don't wait. Instead you go in after missing the entry, right? So let's say you got your, re your resistance right here, boom, right? And your entry is supposed to be right here. Actually I use this. This should have been your entry, however, you missed that entry because you were probably watching TV while you're trading. Or you were probably, 
you know, multitasking while trading. That's another thing to it. Oh my God. Do not multitask while you're trading. If you say, I'm going to take one hour to trade or whatever it may be, just focus on the trading, get it over with so you can go focus on other things, right? Um, but your, your interest is supposed to be right here and you miss it and you decide, you know what? And the, the market is all the way up here now. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to get in and in, 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 in find a new entry. And then you end up coming in here and you're thinking <laughs> the market is going to keep going up. Next thing you know, boom, big drops. So now if you're trading regular for it, not only do you lose your money, you're sad about it, you're moping about it, and you feel bad because you missed your entry. That's 50 pips drop, depending on your lot size. That stopped out of that one. And if you're trading binary, definitely big drops. Um, so do not chase a trade. If you missed your entry like me, if I missed my entry and I've already secured profits like earlier, I'll just be like, you know what, let me, let me just stick with what I made instead of trying to like, you know, triple and end up giving the money right back. Let me just go ahead and, and move on with my life and um, live to trade another day, basically, right? Just, just got about this, but lately I've been doing pretty good on that. I've just been like, you know what, and if I do, um, you know, like go against my own advice, I just, I just look myself in the mirror and just shake my head. And just be like, you know better than that. Sometimes you got to do that. Go look at yourself in the mirror and, and shake your head. And be like, you know better than that. <laughs> All right. So discipline yourself. Um, do not chase the trade. ETC, all of that stuff. Like I mentioned earlier, do not multitask when you're trading. That's one of the points. Do not multitask when trading. You got to take care of your child. Take care of your child before you go in the trade. <laughs> if you got to handle your husband or wife or anything like that, honestly, you know, all jokes aside, like, do that, do all of that um, before you go into church. To take that one hour to yourself and focus on that just for that hour. Reason One of the reasons why people just don't be successful. There's so many different reasons why, but this is one of the reasons if you're multitasking. Why are you trading and watching TV at the same time? Or why are you like trading or let's say you're cooking and you're trading, you know, you're at this point, oh my gosh, it, it's it's really, really, really scary. Certain things that people do. And I can admit to that because I've been there or you're at the gym and you're trading. I'm, I used to be one of the, cause I used to go to the gym early in the morning. So you'll see me at the gym. Anytime you see me at the gym early in the morning during London session um, in New York, my phone is in my hand. You already know I'm in sort of a trade. I'm not talking to somebody. I'm I'm in a trade, right? This is terrible, and I can't even focus on my working out because I gotta focus on this trade. So my gym partner would be like, "Oh my God, not again! Like seriously, let's just work out." But me being so, oh my gosh, with it, like so poor management, I would put myself through the trauma of working out at the same time while trading. So when I take a loss. I, I'm not even in the mood to trade it to, to work out anymore. So that, it affects a lot. Like, why would I want to work out? <laughs> if I've lost, you know, it takes the fun out of it. And then now I'm like all mad and sad. But I realize I'll put myself through it. But when I get excited and I win trades, you know, it bumps me up. The adrenaline rush. And I'm able to have my nice, nice little workout. But it's honestly not worth it. Just trade before you handle all of that. Guys, you know, handle your business and then trade, lady. Just handle your business and then trade. It's just one hour and you'll probably make what you need to make in less than an hour. So do not strategy hop. This is important right here. Oof. This is important right here. Oh my. God, strategy hopping is one of the ways. Yes, 
that people, you know, blow their accounts. If you didn't trust a strategy for at least four weeks to see that it doesn't work or it does work, and then you got the audacity to be mad once you change it up and then you confuse yourself. That's how people get confused because you're strategy hopping. One minute you're doing this, next minute you're doing that, third minute you're doing this. It confuses people. If you tell a child, if, if you say, hey, little Johnny, today we're going to do this, and then tomorrow we're going to do that, and then, you know, the next day we're going to do something else. A different routine of getting ready to go to school. The kid is going to be like, wait, what? But why? Why don't we just stick to the same, you know, routine? Every morning, wake up, brush your teeth, shower, get ready, eat breakfast, and go home. Now, if you tell the child before taking a shower, so today you're going to eat breakfast first, you're going to wake up, go brush your teeth, eat breakfast, and then go shower, and then get ready. So the child is going to be like, yo, that's what? What's going on? Like, mom, dad, this is confusing. Why we can't just stick to the same uh, routine that we've been doing for the past couple, you know? That's the child's mindset. And that's the same way that your account is going to look at you and say, oh, wait, hold up. We changing it again? How many times we going to change this, this, this routine? Like, at this point, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> that's what your account is going to say, right? And, and it's, it's not, it's sad because, because of your lack of discipline, your lack of consistency, your lack of commitment, you're confusing your account. And now your account is looking at you like, listen, I don't know how you want to make this money, but we got to find one thing and stick to it, okay? So do not strategy hop. I mean, I don't know, that was the best way I could put it. Probably could have kept, kept it shorter with better, better better example but y'all get the point <laughs> y'all get the point but yeah that's basically it do not over leverage do not over trade do not chase a trade do not multitask when trading oh i didn't realize i put trade trading all right and do not strategy hop and that's it that's basically it um definitely pretty simple if that didn't make sense to you i don't know what to tell you but made sense to me. Like I said, if anybody's seriously into joining my team, um, we're, we actually got a challenge going on that we do. We do amongst each other. We do, um, you know, these small challenges to get everybody hyped up. So definitely, um, let's partake in that. And uh, we're taking a hundred dollars to five figures in the next ninety days. So I already know it's done for me. It's done. Um, for my guys and the team and the ladies we got some killer traders in the team so they can they can uh, get that done as well like listen guys the way i i like i do my team like i make sure everybody's as independent from me as possible right i'm not gonna hold your hand i'm, I'm not gonna train give you training wheels for the rest of your life if the goal is for you to know how to trade on your own why why should i be holding your hand the whole journey right I'm going to show you how to be independent trader and independent trader as soon as possible. The moment you get started, um, I'm, I'm showing you that route. That's what I'm showing you. I'm not going to have you sit here and depend on signals, mm -hmm. depend on trade, trading sessions, all of that. Everybody understands the system and it works. That's what you want. You don't want to go within a team that's going to have you sit here and depend on sessions to make money. You'll be able to Take your own trades, get out. At least if, if, if not the first month, at least the first three months, you'll be able to, I promise you, you'll learn something from me that you didn't know before. Trust me on that. And I'm not saying I know it all because I'm still in the learning process. It's been two, it's been going uh, almost three years. I'm still in the learning process, but I can teach you a thing or two, right? And I can teach you how to be an independent trader. So if you are interested in, interested in becoming an independent trader, Right, without having to sit here on YouTube all day looking for all these different strategies and videos for it to make sense to you, reach me, hit me up, find, find a team and belong to it, and then you know, we could go from there. But that's about it. You yeah, have a good one.